During the school year, 11-year-old Yang Tian Mei starts her day at 5 a.m. Just before daybreak, Tian Mei and her middle sister finish their homework and set off for school. The path to school takes an hour. Rain has made the rocks slippery, but they charge ahead, determined not to miss the bell. While Chinese children elsewhere often dread going to class, for Tian Mei, school is a haven. It's because here, for a few hours every day, she gets to be a child. Tian Mei lives in Xiaqing, in southwestern China's Guizhou province. This is one of China's poorest regions. Many of the adults have fled down the mountain in search of work, leaving their children behind. Tian Mei last saw her parents almost 10 months ago, when they came home for their annual Chinese New Year visit. After that, they left again to find work in the provincial capital. With her parents gone, it often falls to Tian Mei and her siblings to run the household. According to the All China Women's Federation, more than 60 million Chinese children have been all but abandoned by their parents. Typically, they are left with grandparents who are often too busy or too old to care for them. The burden can take an emotional toll. Nearby, Tian Mei's cousin, 10-year-old Yang Hailian, is unusually upbeat. Her parents recently bought a new house and have come back early for spring festival. This time, they plan to stay for a few months before heading off again. For most of the year, Hai Lian and her younger sister live with their 76-year-old grandfather. His ailing health means they mostly fend for themselves. He is also illiterate, which means he can't help them with their homework. Part of that homework involves keeping a diary. Today, her diary entry is a happy one. The local teacher says Hailian is one of the school's star pupils, but her father is dismissive. Economic realities mean Hailian is likely to sacrifice high school and college to take up low-paying work in the city. But it won't be the largest sacrifice the family has made. Several years ago, Hailian's three-year-old brother wandered off and drowned in a nearby pond. It's the same pond where Hailian and Tian Mei go to wash clothes most days. Hailian's father, who was gone at the time, says his son died of an illness. He tries to downplay the significance of his son's death.
After so many months apart, homecomings like this may not be purely happy affairs. Even so, Yang Tianmei dreams of the day her own parents return. In the meantime, she copes by going in the opposite direction of her parents. This is Andrew Brown in Xiaqing for the Wall Street Journal.